What are we watching? One Piece Gold. One Piece is coming to theaters and we just finished the screener that Funimation was kind enough to send our way. Will you like the film? Do you have to be an anime fan to enjoy it? Check our spoiler-free review and find out. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't familiar with One Piece prior to sitting down with our copy of One Piece Gold. After watching the film, I'm still not sure if I'm familiar with the popular anime. Some of the characters and villains are downright crazy. The entire film takes place on the Gran Tesoro, a gigantic ship that's so large it's been granted the status of an independent country by the world government. Yes, it's that big. Did I mention that it's made entirely of gold? It's ruled by Gil Tesoro, who has the power to manipulate gold. It's hard to discuss One Piece Gold without giving any spoilers, and I don't want to ruin the film for anyone. The film begins with Tesoro, who happens to be quite the performer, kicking off the show that includes music, dancing, and golden geysers. The Straw Hat Pirates land right in the middle of the performance, thanks to a very entertaining battle with the Long Pirates. The Straw Hats think they're visiting the Grand Tesoro to gather fame and riches, but the Golden Emperor proves to have other ideas. What ensues is an action-packed adventure that explores every nook and cranny of the Grand Tesoro. Was it enjoyable? Yes. The animation and voice acting was all very well done. The twists and turns in the story left me guessing most of the film. I had absolutely no idea how it was going to end, but I loved it. Best of all, you don't have to know anything about One Piece to enjoy it. They do a great job of introducing the characters and you even get a bit of history with a couple of old friends that are reunited. Imagination runs rampant in One Piece Gold. From turtle powered mobiles to video surveillance snails, you'll see some pretty crazy stuff. All of the characters from the Straw Hat Pirates crew are pretty likable. Luffy gets the crap beat out of him several times, which I'm assuming is par for the course when it comes to the One Piece anime. Sanji was hilarious, but Zoro and Nami were probably my favorites. I would highly recommend catching One Piece Gold when it hits North American theaters January 10th through the 17th. You can pick up tickets via Fandango, and we've got links in the description.